What's going on guys, welcome to the video. As you would likely know by now, the EU collaborators in Parliament have passed a motion giving low lowlifes like Commissar Corbyn off, Joe Swinton and Nicola Sturgeon control of parliamentary business. Backed by the likes of Dominic Grieve, Philip Hammond, Rory the Soy Boy Stewart and 18 other EU collaborators within the Tory party who voted against their own government, party and constituents in an attempt to block Brexit. Thankfully, the traitors against democracy within the Tory party have now been deselected and they can go and join the Liberal Femocrats and campaign for Remain with them. The Labour MP John Mann, who actually voted with the government last night, appeared on BBC News earlier this morning, calling out the undemocratic shit weasels within Parliament who are deliberately trying to block the democratic will of the people, and he also calls out his own incompetent leader, Commissar Corbynoff. He is joined by the Corbyn-supporting Labour MP Lucy Powell, Tory loyalist Ben Bradley and DUP MP Ian Paisley Jr. discussing the nonsense that was last night's vote, deselection and Brexit in general. Let's check it out. In Westminster with no doubt more twists and turns in store today. Um, let's talk about what's happened, what might happen. I'm joined now by four backbenchers with different views on what has been happening. Let's uh, introduce John Mann, one of only two Labour MPs to vote with the government last night. Good morning to you. Uh, Lucy Powell, also Labour, standing next to each other at least, um, voted for the motion against the government. A Conservative loyalist, Ben Bradley, voted with his government against the motion and as did Ian Paisley Jr., a DUP member. I sort of feel we should almost have Labour on all of us this morning. But morning all, thank you very much indeed for joining us. And just before we came on air, we were talking about language and whether or not these um, MPs who rebelled, I think we can agree on that, um, against the government have been expelled from the party, Ben. What's, what, is, what has happened? Well, my understanding is you, uh, they've had the whip removed, which was, has historically always been the case if you voted against the government in a, a confidence kind of motion like that, uh, but uh, not expelled as far as I'm aware. I think they're still members of the Conservative Party and people like Ken were, were kind of retiring anyway. So um, from that perspective probably doesn't make a great deal of difference in terms of the numbers in this place. But it is extraordinary still, and we understand that there's quite a lot of sort of discussion about um, social media. They've been deleted, or I'm not sure, have they been deleted from the WhatsApp group? What's going on? Quite a lot. I think obviously we're in a position, um, where there's a lot of discussion that goes on in there, and it is for, for Conservative MPs, which they're, they're not anymore. But I've got a great deal of sympathy for Ken in particular, because he's been quite... Um, uh, you know, forthright with his view on Europe since before I was born. So it's a, a difficult situation to, to put him in. So the BBC hag tries to make out like these Tory traitors being deselected is something strange or terrible. Ben rightly shits on her bullshit instantly, pointing out it's normally what happens when you vote against your government in a confidence vote. The host can't have that though and continues to push her manufactured outrage at them being deselected and removed from social media groups. Be real here. These people have voted against their government and joined forces with the Remain scum known as Toe Swinson and Jeremy Corbyn. They are EU collaborators who deserve to be kicked to the curb. They all signed Article 50 and now want to ignore that law because they don't like it. I have to say though, Ben, fuck Ken the old tosspot. He voted against the British people last night. He is a traitor, a shit weasel. End of story. Um John Mann, should we start with you and, and what happened last night? Because you were one of only two Labour MPs to effectively vote with the government. Well, it didn't, Why? Well, it didn't, I didn't vote with the government. I voted against an amendment that is deliberately calculated to block Brexit. So I'm not looking at is it pro-anti-government, pro-anti the Labour position. I'm looking at what did I stand on at the election, what do I believe in? I think we should be getting on with it. And this amendment is calculated to stop Brexit and the people behind it are quite open about that, so I voted against it. Now we get to John Mann, who as the Cum Bucket host said was only one of two Labour MPs who voted for the British public last night in an attempt to stop the motion being passed. The other will be Kate Hoey of course. The BBC host tries to imply he voted with the government as a way to smear him in the eyes of Labour voters, when as he rightly states, he voted to stop this calculated motion to block Brexit, not with the government. He rightly voted in line with the manifesto that he stood on at the last election, which was to leave the EU. It seems he is one of the few who actually support democracy. The BBC host does not like that one bit, as we all know. Ian Paisley, the DUP, you voted um, with the government. Yeah. Why do that? Well, I think really as John said, I mean, we want to see Brexit happen. Uh, the people 
out there, the ordinary folk out there, are absolutely annoyed that this Parliament cannot, after three years, deliver on what they asked them to do. Now, Lucy's manifesto, the Conservatives' manifesto, my manifesto, said one thing, we're leaving the EU. It didn't say the terms and conditions, it said we're leaving. And now people are trying to place terms and conditions. But Louise, there's one thing we're all agreed on, no matter what wing of the Labour Party, what wing of the Conservative Party, or in the DUP, Jeremy Corbyn should never be the Prime Minister of this country. I mean, he's got a majority of 27 I, people. I'm going to stop you there and let Lucy respond. He, but he's got a majority of 27 people. He can't be leader in that house. That's, that's not my that's let, not let, my. I'll let, you, I'll let you both respond, actually. Go on. Now the stupid host asked the DUP member why he voted against the bill, which should be obvious. It goes against what people voted for, and the public is now sick of these MPs not doing what they've been told. Before pointing out that the Labour Party now has a majority, yet are scared of a general election. I wonder why. Actually, no, I don't. I know exactly why they're scared of it, because Corbyn knows he will lose. Well, uh, uh, Jeremy Corbyn is going to bottle the election today, yes. um, and uh, having called for it every single day, he's Liz been the Labour lead- leader. And right. you think, well, this is the leader yeah, of your look, party. Why, why, the question Jeremy Corbyn needs to answer is, why is Labour not 30% ahead in the polls today? Can you imagine with what's yeah. going on that Labour's not, you know, the next election in the bag, um, walking into power? You know, this should have been a bigger landslide than Tony Blair got. You're and, talking about uh, your own party here. I'm talking about, I'm talking about my own party leader. And, uh, you know, I think the best thing he could do is stand aside and let someone else do it and Labour will romp to an election victory. Let what me let you... Well, we get to the bit where John Mann pulls no punches when it comes to talking about the Commissar. Instantly stating Corbyn will bottle the election today, even though he has called for one ever since he became Labour leader. Which you would think the opposition would always want an election under any circumstances because once they have a majority, they could actually repeal a bill if they wanted to. Like Boris could do if votes go against him tonight and Brexit gets delayed. He could win an election with the help of the Brexit party on a WTO Brexit promised in their manifesto, along with repealing this undemocratic bill that they want to put through today. And of course, they would probably add taking us out of the EU there and then on WTO rules. With a majority in Parliament and the help of some extra Lords in the House of Lords, they could probably do that. John Mann rightly points out with the recent chaos in the Tory party, Labour should be miles in front when it comes to the polls. Instead, they might end up third to the Liberal Femocrats. When the host states in utter shock he is talking about his own party, John rightly points out he is not talking about the party, he is talking about Jeremy Corbyn, because he knows the best thing for the Labour Party is for Corbyn to be gone. Let's hope Corbyn does not step aside, because he will never be elected into number 10, and we won't have to deal with a Labour government anytime soon. Right, then forward wind, the, Boris Johnson has said he will then let MPs have a vote on a yeah. general election. How is the DUP well, well, We all vote? vote for a general election. The, the issue is, uh, say if Labour tonight block a general election, which is more than likely, are they going to now prop up Boris Johnson in power? That's the position, Wait, okay. the profound position they find themselves in. When the Queen's speech is passed, are, are they going to vote for the Queen's speech? Are they going to prop, continue to prop up Boris Johnson and let him, as they say, get away with us? This is the, the madness now we are have, now in. The have no majority. We know that. We know what you're going to I mean, I'm presuming I know what you're going to vote tonight. You will vote for a general oh, election. For election. Yeah, Jeremy Corbyn owns this. Jeremy Corbyn needs to make the call. If you haven't got the bottle, then all Labour MPs uh, will sit on their hands and not vote for it. Mm-hmm. But one way or other, there's going to be an election called either today mm-hmm. or on, 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 on Monday. One way or other, there's going to be an election. And what do you say to this? I like this DUP MP. He absolutely wrecks the ridiculous Labour position if they refuse to vote for a general election tonight because they then would be propping up a Conservative government led by Boris Johnson. Just take that in for a moment. A Labour opposition keeping the Tories in power without a majority is incredible. He wonders if they will vote for a Queen's speech in October and keep Boris in power then to continue the madness we are likely to be seeing up until then if their deal passes. John Mann is only here to shit on Jeremy Corbyn it seems though. I think he wants to be deselected at the next election, questioning Jeremy Corbyn's bottle when it comes to facing Boris in an election campaign, which we all know at the moment Corbyn is too scared to go for an election, and rightly so. It's got nothing to do with no deal. He knows where Labour sits in the polls. He knows they're going to get trounced, and it will be his fault. And then he'll be out on his ear. What more can be expected from a snivelling shit weasel, though? Well, I did not expect John Mann to spend the entire interview attacking the shit weasel known as Commissar Corbynoff, but it is great when Labour MPs do it. My guess is John Mann wants an election because when Labour lose, they can blame Corbyn and kick his ass to the curb. 
He knows it's the only way to stop the Labour nosedive. Well, I'm going to end the video there, guys. I want to thank the channel's PayPal, Patreon, and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one.